Hey, it's Marvelo, and welcome back to my channel for another weekly smoke session. I have grinded up some bud to use in my volcano, but first I'm going to take a dab out of dugong to get the smoke sesh started. Cheers! That was actually the last of my dabs. I'm running low on just about everything. That's part of why I wanted to use my volcano. Also because I realized I haven't done a smoke sesh with my volcano yet. I have filmed a video with my volcano before, so if you want to learn more details about the volcano vaporizer, I would recommend you check it out. I will leave a link to it down below. But yes, this is my volcano. Or uh, yeah, I did name it. Its name is Belschnickel. And if you get that reference, you're probably a fan of The Office. <laughs> probably one of my least nerdy named pieces, which is really kind of sad. <laughs> because that's a pretty nerdy name. It just shows you how nerdy my other pieces are. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and heat this up now because it will take a little while. This little control thinger will go off. And I have not yet loaded my chamber. I get a piece of paper. I put the weed on the paper and use it to funnel it in to the filling chamber. I love my grinder. Ah! Wow, the lid just rolled away. Good thing there's no weed in that part. So there's the bud I've ground up. Should be enough for a couple bags. I'm trying to show it to you guys. Yeah, you'll notice that's a lot less than what I usually use uh, when I'm rolling a joint or anything. And that is because this really doesn't take a whole lot of weed. In fact, no, I'm gonna go ahead and do it all. Oh shit, no, that might be too much. No, it'll work. Okay, cool. It really doesn't take a whole lot. I don't know if you're even able to really see in there because the lighting. I'm just gonna press this on down. Alrighty. Now it's ready to go. And because it's a fresh bag, it'll stand up on its own. It's pretty cool. I first got my volcano because at the time I was so sick pre-diagnosis that I just really couldn't smoke and I was in so much pain all the time and I didn't have any painkillers and I really didn't want to have to be on opiates. I had been struggling to try to smoke even though I was having difficulties with breathing. Just doing the laundry would get me out of breath. So I invested in the Volcano, which is a very expensive piece. It's, it's my fourth most expensive piece, that's right. This is my fourth most expensive piece, but it is very expensive. But I think it's worth it. If you're just a casual smoker, maybe not. If you're a collector, it might be something that's worth having in your collection. And if you're someone like me with a chronic illness, particularly if you have difficulties breathing or if at different points in time, maybe, you know, something could affect you like anemia so severely that it might make it difficult to breathe because that's what it was for me. My lungs are fine, but when you get really anemic, your body can't distribute oxygen properly and you can get out of breath easy because you're just low on oxygen. Ready for this? It's not completely transparent, but it's definitely not opaque. <laughs> I'm gonna take a small hit. The instructions on the volcano, I think, say to take about half of an inhale. Like, ha if you were taking a breath, half of what you would take in a breath. I don't know. I usually just inhale and whatever. Anyway.
You're not really going to be able to see much of my hits in this, but oh my god, they taste so much better. I have a mix of a few strains in there, mostly green crack and Dutch treat, and then also just some stuff my mom gave me mixed in too. I'm tasting a lot of the Dutch treat, but something in it almost tastes a little minty. It's really good. If you're really into the taste of weed, or if you're trying to flavor profile something, this is probably one of the best ways to do it. And it hits you, <laughs> like, all at once. Wow. I forgot how efficient this was. It's been a really long time. Mmm. And your weed will go a long way with something like this. It's really awesome whenever I smoke out of this piece. Okay, it's cooled down. And I'm not sure if you're gonna see this very well, but there's still a lot of green in there. And so I could probably stir it up and get, I don't know, maybe two or three more bags off of it, depending on the heat. And right now I'm at six, which is usually about where I like it. You can go higher or lower depending on the consistency you want. I could do a video demoing what it looks like on every setting, but I kind of do a breakdown of all the settings in my other video, which like I said, I'm linking down below. It's an older video though. I haven't watched it in a while. I don't know if it's good quality. I'm sorry. <laughs> The one thing you might have noticed, yeah, and I mentioned it, it's loud. It's not super fragrant, and even if it is, I can't really smell it right now in the air, but if it smells in here the way that tastes, then it doesn't smell like pot. Like, it doesn't smell skunky, if that's how it smells, like I said, because I can't really smell it. I can only taste it, and it tastes really good. <laughs> And I'm, wow, really high. Well, I guess I did take that dab too, but I don't know. I haven't been smoking very much lately because I've been running out. I need to renew my card. I'm late on renewing my card. So I need to get on that. That's going to be expensive, but I'll do it. Yeah. I guess my nose must be stuffed up. I just tried to exhale through my nose and it only came out two nostrils. Uh, two nostrils? It only came out one nostril. Ah, see? <laughs> That's how you know. <laughs> only two nostrils out of how many? How many do I have? Oh yeah. Ew. <laughs> Yeah, my nose is definitely stuffed up on that side, I can tell, because when I exhaled through my nose, I started getting, like, snot on my hands. Not snot. It, it just felt like rain. Booger rain. I guess snot rain. Sure. That's really gross. using my volcano more. It's very efficient. It gets me high very quickly. I don't cough very much. I don't have to worry about bong water spills. I don't have to use the ashtray. Oh, and one of the cool things is even when the stuff is burnt, it doesn't like turn black and ashy. It just turns brown. You smoke it till it turns brown and then I always dump it in a jar and then if I get really desperate I smoke the, uh, we call it ABV, already been vaped. Um, you can also use it to make oil or cannabis butter. It won't taste as good, but if you just want it for the effect, then you can definitely do that. It just takes a lot more product because you've taken so much of the THC and maybe CBD out of it as well. I'm gonna heat the volcano up again and do another bag. 
I didn't really do anything exciting for 420. I'm just realizing now that that was the last time I posted a smoke sesh. Yeah, that sounds about right. Whoops. I've been meaning to do this for a while, but I needed to replace my bag. And so I uh, took a long time getting around to that. So yeah, whoops. I would have had a smoke sesh up before then, but yeah. I mostly just stayed home. I smoked on my own. I've probably had a pot brownie. I don't really remember. But my dog, I don't know if you know my dog. My dog's name is Anakin. I call him Anakin Sky Puppy. But his name's Anakin Skywalker. But I call him Anakin Sky Puppy. That's his nickname. Anyways, Anakin. My little Jedi. I went around all day telling him that I had the high ground. And then I saw on my Star Wars group that I'm in someone say happy high ground day. And that's just the new name I'm using for 420 now is high ground day. And I, and I chased my dog around all day while I was stoned saying, it's over Anakin, I have the high ground. And he was very annoyed. Oddly enough, May 4th is his half birthday. It's not his birthday, but it's his half birthday. And since he's a dog, I celebrate his half birthdays because you know, dogs don't get as many birthdays as humans, so they should get extra birthdays. Seems fair to me, so. Yeah. Instead of I'm super baked, that's what I am saying now is, man, I have the high ground right now. Wow, I so have the high ground. Mm -hmm. Or if you were in a group of people, you know, that'd be a way to rank who's the most stoned, who has the high ground. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. It smells a little more burnt. Definitely smelling burnt. Yeah. If I do more than one bag, I'll be way too stoned. I meant to say if I only do two bags, but I was probably right anyways. I should have only done one. I'm just progressively getting more and more stoned as I sit here. I haven't even hit this yet. I've been reading a George Washington biography. Actually, hold on, I'll show it to you. I'll probably do a book review on it when I'm finished, but I'm only about halfway through. I'd be further through, but I keep stopping to read other books. It's this habit I have. I can't just read one thing at once. It's too hard for me. I'm usually reading at least three or four books. But a lot of times when they're talking about the American Revolution, the word high ground is in there and I just, I, I don't know. I just like chuckle to myself. I don't know why, but when you're a part of a fandom, the memes are just way funnier. I don't know why I'm talking about memes, but you know, it's culturally relevant. I'm in a Marvel meme group, a Hamilton one, well, several Hamilton ones, several Star Wars ones, and a couple Harry Potter ones. And on Facebook. This is all on Facebook. Why am I, I, I didn't even say that. Why am I even talking about Facebook? Well, because I haven't left my house much because I've been really sick. <laughs> but that's going to be changing soon. I'm going back to therapy for the first time since February. So that'll be weird. I mean, it's been a long time. I'm going to change psychiatrists and hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully things will work better now. I've been finding that not going to therapy, I've been feeling a lot better. I haven't had as many issues with anxiety or depression. I'm not sure why that is. I just feel like therapy brings up all this stuff and I don't know, when you have to talk about it, it makes it harder. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Clearly I prefer repressing things alone in peace. <laughs> so I've talked about fandoms I'm in quite a bit, actually. I've even made a video singing a song dedicated to a fandom that I'm in. 
that I wrote. <laughs> so much shame, but also a lot of pride. <laughs> but I'm interested to know what fandoms are you a part of? <laughs> it's always cool to find out you have different fandoms in common with people and different nerdy connections. Yeah. You know, none of that was what I was planning on talking about in this video. Kind of weird how that happens. Well, this bag is just about empty. That was different. Thank you so much for watching and smoking along with me. Or vaping. <laughs> if you do smoke or vape. <laughs> if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so you can stay updated for the next time I make a video. I love you guys and I'll see you again soon.